Hello, I'm Barbara Mori and you're watching Bollywood Insider. Well, quite frankly, Barbara, who isn't? Yep, I'm Susie, this is Bollywood Insider. And we're continuing with our French flavor this week and going kites crazy, but it's clear the stars are lost without me. Hey Susie, where are you? We're missing you here. I wish you were here next time, promise. Hello, I'm very happy to be here in Cannes, but I'm really sad because Susie is not here. I think she will be here. Where, where is she? Where is she? Why, why is she not here? It's, it's crazy, but well, of course, I, I hope she comes because I miss her so much. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, sweetie, but there's only one of me. However, what girl wouldn't swap places with Babs right now? She's been side by side with Rithik to dazzle the press in Cannes, quite literally flying the Bollywood flag for their forthcoming English language movie, Kites. It's another example of Bollywood going global as the industry attempts to draw in an international audience. And who better to have up front as your Hollywood hunk counterattack than Rithik Roshan? We asked Maury if he was Bollywood's answer to Brad Pitt. I, I haven't met Brad Pitt, but I can tell you that this guy is really amazing. He's really talented. Uh, he, he's a god. There is, my god, is. I, I knew that he. I will war with the star, and like Bollywood star and all that. But when I was there shooting in Mumbai, I realized that the people going crazy. Like they, 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 they think that he is like God, and they look at him. In its efforts to join the leagues of Hollywood blockbusters, Kite's $30 million budget is far beyond what a typical Bollywood movie would attract. But it set its sights high and was filmed in numerous locations across the US and Mumbai. The movie sees Riddick, a wanted man on the run, seeking out his one true love and is billed as a story of romance beyond barriers, boundaries and culture. Bollywood has, uh, has, uh, had, had, a, has had a premise of, of uh, catering to... Uh, uh, different sex of the audience um, because our country is so diverse you know we always have uh, uh, restrained ourselves you know and put ourselves into this one box uh, trying trying to cater to the needs of the different audiences that might see our film and uh, well it was just it was just uh, about time to break out out of that box and just make an honest film you know a film is about one man trying to tell one story and it's very important to, uh, to, to, to sustain the integrity of that story without any compromises or fear of you know, whether that section of the audience will like it or whether that section of the audience will like it. And finally, it wouldn't be a love story without the prerequisite rumours of real-life romance between the stars. Tongues have been wagging about the chemistry between Riddick and co-star Maury, but Barbara insists such talk is par for the course and she can't let the gossip bother her anymore. You know what, at the beginning I have uh, 13 years in this career. So at the beginning always I have a romance with the lead of the soap opera or of the movie. At the beginning of my career I always cried, I said no I'm not, I'm not like this, I'd never do that. Oh my god, I, I used to suffer so much. But after 13 years I get used to that and so I don't care, I don't, I, it doesn't bother me at all. Good for you, we say, Barbara, and we'll be hoping it's the film that creates the attention for Indian movies on its release and that kites flies high for Bollywood. That's all for this week. We'll see you next time. Na, na, na.